welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to enjoy a lovely, beautifully matured vintage lap from 1998. Conveniently from Hockenheim, where we're headed next in our hardcore season. So yeah, this lap is more than 21 years old now and somehow the hot lap file has managed to survive all the dangers it has faced over the years. Uh, I'm quite sure this is still the fastest lap I've ever driven around the old Hockenheim in GP2. Uh, it's a 142 something, which is a healthy pole, pole position lap in ace difficulty. Uh, what makes the lap special is not the time, but the fact that it's not a clean lap at all. Uh, I made a big mistake in the first chicane, uh, went wide, lost the back end of the car, and then I was like, okay, this lap is now ruined. Uh, so in frustration, I drove the rest of the lap like a madman and completely above my skill level. But somehow I managed to stay on the track and the result was a po uh, personal lap record and a pole position. Uh, this lap was driven with this racing wheel. Uh, it's a Trustmaster Grand Prix 1 that I owned back in the 90s. Uh, what's funny is that this wheel did not include pedals. Instead it had these flappy paddle things behind the wheel uh, that you'd normally use for sifting. But these paddles were analog and they were meant for accelerating and braking. So in addition to sifting you also had to use your hands for accelerating and braking which made your hands very very busy. And the driving was very difficult with the thing. Uh, ignore that, that I seem to be driving a Tyrell here. Uh, in reality, I was driving a McLaren with some kind of a 1998 car set. And the engine power was the standard power with no team dependencies or anything. So here, let's now enjoy the lap. Oh, <laughs> 